When Hoop House first shows up at your job site, the first thing we do is not grab a wrench, it's getting organized. In this video, we're going to be unboxing this Bootstrap Farmer All Metal Kit. We're going to learn how to identify the parts, what all comes in the kit, and how to get organized. So this video is to help you understand the components, how they're packed, how they come off, and basically how to set that up as you start your build. And look, at Bootstrap Farmer, we have the round 14 and 20, we have a 30-foot round, we have the Gothics, we have a cat tunnel, and we have a hobby hoop house coming out. And all of this practice is universally the same. What is going to be different is the individual farmer's order. So as you call in or make your order online, we're going to put that bundle together with your options, with your sizes, with all of the things that's going to come in the kit. Now, whether you buy from us or not, this is going to be a good habit that way you're set up right from the beginning. And that's why it's so important to refer to the pick list and to the instructions that come in the box. It's going to show you not only what your individual order is consistent of, but what those parts are with each of those individual kits that we just mentioned. And some of these pieces look kind of the same, and that's why we encourage you to get a tape measure and to check it as you go. Also, if you get in a bind and maybe get a little bit confused or something doesn't seem right, take some pictures, take some video, and then go ahead and call us, call the tech team, we know that you're likely you're going to be building this on the weekends and there's a lot of people and it's a lot of pressure. That's why we answer the phone seven days a week and we will get a tech specialist to you to help you through this process. Before you start unpacking, it's a good idea to take a few quick pictures of your pallet and packaging as it arrives and during the unloading process. It only takes a minute and having those photos on hand is helpful documentation if you ever need to reference the condition of your shipment later. And before you start cutting bands or moving parts, make sure to watch our unloading videos. That link is on the screen right now and also in the description below. And that'll show you how to safely handle your shipment before following along with this uncrating process. Now let's open this kit and take a look at what's inside this 20 foot by 40 foot model, which is our example today. Start by reviewing the packing list that came with your shipment. Take a minute to verify that the kit name and dimensions match your order. This is in the top left of the pick list. This is also a good time to make sure that your uncrating area is level and clear of obstacles. So not only is the level ready for us to move, but we also have made just a little platform, a little elevation off the ground. That way, in case during the build it rains and to save our back later on and to help organize, we built just a little bit of table with some landscape timbers and some cinder blocks. So as we're unloading the pallet, we're putting like items together, which is going to help us in the counting process. So some tools you'll need for the uncrating is some gloves, eye protection, and you'll want a box opener or utility knife for cutting the bands and plastic around the crate, a hammer and small crowbar for removing crate boards, and a pair of tin snips for cutting any metal banding. Take a few extra minutes with the right tools, keeps both you and your parts safe during the uncrating process. We're now going to get into the individual components. Starting with the big steel, the ground post and the hoops. Your ground posts are 48 inches long, and made of 1.6 inch galvanized steel. That's one and five eighths. Keep these stacked together or go ahead and put them out if your ground is ready. And remember that ground post measurement is for this kit. If you have a bigger kit, the specs may be a little different. Each hoop is made of pre-bent galvanized steel with a clear protective coating. You'll notice the hoops are in bundles and they should be kept this way until it's ready to assemble that hoop before it gets put on the ground post. A swaged end means that one end is slightly tapered to fit into the next piece, forming a strong seamless arch. So in a lot of times you'll see flat, open, or swaged ends when we're describing items on the pick list. Next, your ridge pole and connectors. Ridge poles form the backbone of your hoop house. They come in 75 inch, one end swaged, one end open, and then a 36 inch open open extension. That extension piece finishes off the ridge poles on some models. Cross connectors, sized for your hoop house, link the ridge pole to the hoops. Your perimeter steel, hip and base. Next up are the hat channel sections used for your base and hip braces. Base braces run along the ground line, while hip bases run mid-height along the sidewall. Please note it's the same hat channel. They provide structural attachment points for the lock channel and film. They're all made from USA fabricated steel with a clear coat finish. End walls and doors. The doors come in two different ways. One, a single door frame and a single door, or two, a two-piece double door frame and then two doors to go inside of that. For the door hardware kit, you'll find hinges, a cane bolt, a spring, and a latch kit with a handle, strike plate, and hardware. The end wall hardware bag includes self-tapping screws, quarter-inch nuts, bolts, and washers for the ground post, and there's also a small tool bag containing 
drill bits, a hole saw, and nut drivers to drive the number eight and number 10 self-tap screws. Up next is the lock channel and spring wire. And we're very happy to say that these are made in Texas, just a couple of hours away from our warehouse. PVC coated spring wire paired with the lock channel are what hold your greenhouse film tight to the frame and at the base hip and door frames. Keep these parts together for when it's time to skin the house. Covering materials. Your kit is likely to include a four year UVA resistant six mil greenhouse plastic. There are typically two pieces, a main large cover and a smaller set for the end walls. You may have an optional nine or 11 mil solar rig. Just know that that's going to ship separate than this crate. Another option you're likely to see is your shade cloth of choice. That's either going to be packed in the same box as the plastic or a separate box. Keep these wrapped until you're ready to install them to protect them from any damage as you build your hoop house. Now let's take a look at the hardware master pile. Centralize your hardware so that everything's easy to find on build day. The frame hardware kit includes quarter inch bolts and nuts, lock washers and flat washers, number eight and number 10 self-tapping screws, and the sidewall hardware kit is labeled separately than the end wall kit. This helps organize the hardwares into bins for quick access later. Your kit also includes a steel ground post driver that helps you drive in the ground post without damaging the tops. And each kit includes a wiffle ball to help throw rope over the kit to pull the plastic over. Depending on your order, you may also receive additional items. Common items are roll-up side kits with hand cranks, snap-on clamps, and EMT connectors. Purling kits are basically extra ridge poles and connectors and possibly a 36 inch open open extension. Corner brace kits, horizontal bars, are made up of punched flat ends, brace bands, and open ended pieces of material that's going to be tailored to your individual needs. And again, if you need any help, please refer to the instruction manual or call the tech line for help putting those pieces together. If you chose the wind panel option, that's extra pieces of plastic lock channel and spring wire. You may also have options like insect screens, double layer inflation kits, and in this order, ventilation fans and shutters. You may also have weed barriers or extra doors. Label and store each kit together so nothing gets mixed up before the build. And look, we know it's not the funnest thing to take the time to inventory and to take the proper pictures, but sometimes freight gets damaged and it really helps us with the claim and expedite any orders on the back end as we have some of that footage to kind of help prove your case and our case to the shippers. Either way, we're going to take care of you, but it sure speeds things up. And our warehouse, we're all people here at Bootstrap Farmer, and sometimes we may be missing a part or have extra parts for you. Just call our tech line and we'll figure out what to do there. But again, it happens rarely. Taking the time to separate everything out now and make sure all the hardware's in one spot and easy to get to means that when everybody is there and it's go time for the build, that everybody can clearly see where everything's at and have easy access to it. And that's just going to make the build go much better for everybody involved. And as we wrap up today, we have a lot of videos when it comes to squaring, putting in the ground post. Each individual part has its own video in our Hoop House 101 and Hoop House 102 series, which is going to be at the end screen at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or this solved a problem for you, please leave it in the comments below. If you've had any stories about your own unboxing, please share that with the farmer so they can learn. And we'll see you in the next video.